How does he know every time I push record? Every time. Quiet. Not moving. Don't say nothing. Push the button. There he is. Camera whore. Camera whore. Anyways. I've uh, been back home for a while. Had the best weekend of my life at Texas Fried Marin. My only regret was I was just too stiff and in shock and stuff to really talk and hang and have a good time with everybody just because I was like, oh, there's... Ah, everything was amazing. But here's my haul. And next year I'm definitely going to buy a lot more. It's not a very big haul. kind of bought stuff for other people and uh, I already gave it to them and... And yeah, there's one item that I've forgotten in Misty's car, which is a uh, sweet, uh, I needed a tank top for the summertime. I got the one from London, 1888, the Friday the 13th, New Blood. But, yeah, and this is my little haul. And I just want to say to every single person that I met there, good God, that was amazing. Next year, Andrew's going to be obnoxious as shit. He's going to be all up in your face, making you love me. But, okay, let's see. Let's get started here. Let's go ahead and get, like, the, the clothing that I bought. Like I said, I got that tank top. Got this. I don't remember any of the booths. I'm terrible at remembering things. I'm just like, ooh, ooh, purchase. Thank you. Didn't read your sign. Sorry, I can't pimp out your website. But this, I, yeah, I'm not even going to try. But I got a Halloween 3, uh, snapback trucker hat type thing, you know, obviously, because I like them. And I couldn't decide. I was like, I gotta have a hat, I gotta have a hat. And I was like, ah, let's rock the Halloween 3. Rock the, rock the, the jack-o'-lantern year-round. So, yeah. There's that. You look good on me, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I wear my hat backwards. Yeah. All right, now next, I got a few shirts. I've got this beauty right here. Together forever, Freddie and Nancy. Aww. How cute. I like the colors, though. That was my selling point. The very vibrant colors. And they were sold out of the one that I wanted. So this was actually my second pick of that booth. There was a They Live shirt that I wanted, and I stood there forever, and I was like, which one do I want, which one do I want? And I decided on the They Live one, and they were out of my size. So I was like, that was a waste of time. Shit. Um, there's that. Then we got... Don't have any of this character, so I had to get a shirt with the Chuckster on it. And I love the, the, the art style. There was a bunch of shirts like this that had different horror icons on it. And I went with Chucky. Because that's my dude, my little dude right there. We homies. You know. We voodoo stuff together. Then, of course... This was only like 10 bucks at a booth. The Thing. Favorite horror movie of all the times. Very nice. You got McCready in there. Good old black and white. Everything don't have to be in color. Alright, now we got some signatures. Let's go ahead and start with the Blu-rays. This one, I learned my lesson with this one. Don't put the slipcover back in the case until the ink dries. But it's uh, Robert Hall, who created later rest series, the raising excuse me, the raising funds for a third one, which is cool. This is all I had of his that I took with me because I didn't even think that these people were gonna have their own stuff that you can just take and sign. But Robert Hall, awesome director, awesome special effects artist. I love me some special effects artists, which you're about to find out. But it says all smudgy like. Andrew Chrome School loves you, Robert Hall. He was a very cool dude. And I have like 29 pictures with him because the guy was taking our picture. I don't know if the shutter was on or something, but it's... So it's like one of those flip books. You can see the whole conversation between him. And at the end, it's me and him actually posing for the picture. So that was cool. And I was really excited to meet this guy. Not many people were talked about him, but I'm definitely a fan. This next one is the best special effects makeup artist that was there and I'm not talking Tom Savini no and I will argue with you and fight you all day 
The best one that was there this weekend is Steve Johnson. This guy right here. Just Andrew! Steve Johnson. If you don't know who he is, then you need to know. Just do Steve Johnson make. Guess what, up! Steve Johnson, makeup artist. He was really cool, really awesome to talk, about, uh, talk with. He said Alex Winter from, you know, Bill and Ted fame. He uh, slept in his makeup to save four hours of sitting in the chair the next day. So, I like how they gave us a little fun facts. This is obviously not his biggest work. This is just a childhood of mine. Freaked. Uh, the guy's known for creating Slimer from Ghostbusters. He also did the, the Librarian Ghost in Ghostbusters. He uh, did the movie Species. He's he's done a lot of innovative stuff. He's The dude's brilliant. Very underappreciated. Tom Savini can't even hold his jockstrap. Sorry. And speaking of Steve Johnson, that wasn't the only signature I got. He kind of wooed me into buying his book. Called Rubberhead, Sex, Drugs, and Special Effects. The Art and Unedited Antics of Steve Johnson. Because they kind of consider him like the Hunter S. Thompson of special effects. He's just that kind of wild dude. And, uh... He was, like I said, he hung out down at Scaryoke with Robert Hall. So in my vlog, you can see me going, there's Steve Johnson, there's Robert Hall, there's Steve Johnson. Just freaking out. And I got his signature right there. He said, Andrew, this it. <laughs> Steve Johnson. Uh, definitely going to give this a read probably within the next week. And it's, it said it's a full book. It's not, not a bunch of photos. Well, there's photos and stuff. But. And he said this is his most proud work. And he's done amazing stuff, so... Definitely eager to check that out. Uh, this next one, couldn't couldn't not get this on this Blu-ray sleeve. Uh, very first horror movie I recall ever seeing, and I'm pretty sure it is the first one, was Child's Play, and I got none other than the director, Tom Holland, to sign it. it says, to Andrew Tom Holland, want to play? Yes, I do. So, there's that. Now we're on to signatures, like other things besides Blu-rays. Uh, I actually got this for a gift. Shh. He don't watch my channel or nothing, so I doubt he'll see it. I don't know whenever I see him, because I haven't even seen this guy in years. But I got him because he's a diehard Misfits fan. So I got it. You can't really, can't find a light to catch it. It says to Simon right here. You can see it better in person. And his name over here, Doyle, from the Misfits. Uh, there, there's like pictures that you get signed for like 30 and then you can do a vinyl for 50 And I was just like, you know what, it's 20 bucks more. And I think signed vinyls are much cooler than a signed photo. So, yeah. And I didn't have any intention to even get this. Just Misty was in line, and then I was standing there with her. And I was like, well, I guess I'm in line too. And I was like, well, I better get signed something. And there is, there's that. I'll be able to get them some someday in the future. I got a couple photos signed myself. Uh, we got good old Michael Berryman. He'll have eyes fame. It says, to Andrew, do you like something? What am I missing here? I don't know. But it's very cool. Very nice guy. All these people that I met were really cool. So we got the Berryman. I only got two more items. Like I said, it wasn't a very big haul. I uh, purchased stuff for like other people. Like I had to get Miss something to say thank you for uh, getting me there and all that stuff. But this lady, I was really excited to meet, and I even told her I was in love with her. Good old E.G. Daly, Dottie from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I had to, I had to have her sign up Dottie picture just because. And she said, to Andrew and Hearts and stuff, and in quotations, Dottie, E.G. Daly. Yeah, I love her. And when we took a picture, then she stopped and we took a picture with me and her and Misty, which was really sweet of her. So that one I cherish. These all need to be framed. I need to keep my dog away from them. Now this is my prize piece. And this was the last print they had. They live... With Keith David's signature. This is my baby. I mean, not the dude. This print. <laughs> this is my baby. Uh, and yeah, the night before I even got this signed, we were all outside mingling, having a cigarette and whatnot. 
And I'm like, look, there's Keith David. And then Darren led the way. I was like, oh, thank God somebody's leading the way. And I followed him, and we went over and talked to the man. And had a full conversation about the length of a whole cigarette, you know. Just talking, asking, you know, favorite role and stuff like that. I told him my favorite line was, you dirty motherfucker. He thought that was funny. Uh, I asked for a picture. He declined because, you know, they're there to make money. I understand. But the way he declined it, he just kind of... He just did that. And that was that was better than the picture itself. And I got a picture with him right after I got this signed. So, yep, this is, this, is, this is my favorite. I'm already mad because it's already got a little slight ding down here at the bottom. Definitely need to find a frame for this. And wash it off because apparently somebody spilled something on it. But... This is my prize piece, and that is the last piece that I think. I mean, I kept, you know, the, the little newspaper thing that they gave you. I'm going to get that, done something with that. Um, oh, and, and this koozie that Misty gave me. She got one of those bags from Paul Bearer Press, I believe, and this has a koozie in it, and she doesn't rock koozies, and I rock the koozie, and it ended up matching my hat, so that's cool. Um, and, yeah, incredible weekend. Can't wait to see you all again. I'm going to be constantly talking to y'all now that you, I know that you know me. I thought I was just a follower of all y'all, but yeah, everybody was amazing. Can't wait for next year. Like I, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about it now. That, this is officially my Christmas now. My Christmas is in late April, early May. Screw December. Kiss my butt. Which is awesome because it's right around the halfway point of Halloween, so it's like I get Halloween every six months. What? Anyways, holla at you, boy. Talk to me. Subscribe. I'm so close to 100 subscribers. Come on. And, um, yeah. Let me know. What's up? Talk to me. Did I meet you? Did I, did, was I cool? Was I nice? Was I weird? Whatever. Oh, and I gotta show this. Terry resin pen. From Eric from Horror Man Cave. Uh, he usually gives this to people that buy uh, his resin statues and whatnot. Stuff that he sells. Which he does great work. You gotta check him out. And he, we were just talking because he knew me. He's checked out my channel before, which I was just so shocked by. I thought that was really cool. Uh, he's just kind of giving me advice on the channel, you know, be yourself, or and people will watch, pretty much, is what he said. And then he gave me a terror resin pin. And then he tried to make me catch him in the hallway, and I wasn't ready for it, and I had a drink in my hand, and I'm from Kansas, so you don't spill your drink. So I just let him hit the floor. Sorry, man. Alright, okay. Now that's it, I believe. If not, then damn it, it didn't make the haul. So, love, peace, and chicken grease. And late!